How do I find the motivation to wake up and get into a bin of freezing cold water in the morning? I don't, it's really mindset. So for me, like I have to get dressed for the part. I put on whatever I'm gonna wear for my ice bath or my cold plunge and that, I'm not gonna go on with my day dressed like this. So it kind of like forces me to take the next step. And then now here I am standing at my door holding the knob. And I know as soon as I turn this knob and go out that it's like determination. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get into it. So it's not quite going on. I'm not gonna do this. And it's kind of rainy and cold out today and I don't wanna do it and I didn't wanna do it. And I'm so cold. And then when I'm out here, the thing that I tell myself is the faster I do it, the faster I can get in. So really, it's just like forcing your body to keep moving and taking small action steps that help you to keep moving in the direction of your goal. Let's check Winnie, see what the temperature is, freak myself out. It's actually not too bad. It's like 48 degrees. Pump myself up, pump myself up, pump myself up. There's a guy across the street. He's probably, what the fuck this bitch doing? Doing a cold plunge. Okay. Faster I get in, the faster I get out. Faster I get in, faster I get out. I guess you're gonna come in with me today. Take a couple really good deep breaths before you get in. Sorry, bad angle. I need to get a tripod here. Once I take a really big deep breath, I'll hold it and slowly try to exhale that through my nose. That's when you know I'm getting into the water. I can't talk because I need to focus on my breathing at that point. And once your foot touches your fucking in, that's it. The more you do this, the easier it gets to acclimate. So when I'm kind of like in this stage where I'm like in control, I see my shoulders are not all the way submerged and you really want to get it into like that neckline. So I'll take another breath. and then sink down into that. Really just try to focus on my breath. I really like, I'll focus on my body. Like I realized that my leg muscles were tight. So I just start relaxing them. And you do like micro movements, like just kind of move your arms a little. I let my body sway back and forth just a little bit. and then enjoy it. As good as it could be enjoyed because it's not enjoyable the first minute you're in here, you know? But I don't know what it is when I'm in here. I love to look around and for some reason, like the bricks on my house just seem more clear. Like it's a very mindful experience and it's very difficult to explain. I'm probably not using the right words, but it's made me more aware of things around my house that I didn't pay attention to before. Like I started to learn where the birds sit in the morning and I don't hear any birds this morning. It's a rainy morning today. Look at like how the clouds look, how the sky's moving. And how long it stays in, I never sit here and go, oh, I'm going to stay in for this long because this is my goal. I did that when I first started. It would be like two, three minutes. But now, like, once my body's relaxed, I've kind of acclimated to the cold, typically like two to three minutes and I'm good. 
Like, it, I don't need to prove it to myself if I can stay in here for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Now, sometimes, maybe like once a month, I will like see how long I could stay in, but nothing to prove to myself on a daily basis with this. I'm getting the benefits from just what I'm doing and that's all that I need, you know, maintain. Right now, I feel really good. Okay. Try not to drop, drop you. I don't want to drop you in my ice barrel. <laughs> Dive into the bottom. Yeah. Then we do a little horse dance because that always feels good. into a deep squat, deep squat. How long do I do this? As long as I want. It's very much, I don't know. I listen to my body with this, like, ooh, how am I feeling? Do I wanna keep doing this? How's it feeling? What do I wanna do? hurts the most when I get out is my toes, your extremities. <sighs> Go in the house, drink some hot tea, change, and I let my body warm up naturally. Depending on how long I'm in, sometimes you get the shivers after, but yeah. Oh, and it's it's like 42 degrees outside.